thank you so much for your company this morning. In the Instagram age where the Kardashians reign, oh, but there's other people on Instagram, not just the Kardashians, a clever retelling of the fairy tale, <laughs> Beauty and the Beast, is encouraging children to look beyond the superficial and dare to be different. Brought to us by Tapac and leading children's theatre producers, the stage company, there is a gutsy heroine and hilarious moments with characters such as Bimbo and Barbie. <laughs> the production of the age-old love story is set to inspire and entertain a new generation. We are pleased to have with us this morning actors Quinn Bevan, Sebastian Holland Dudding, and Isabella Patak. Welcome to you all. Yes, welcome. Hello. Hey Quinn, let's start with you. You're only 12 years old. You're in year seven, but you've been acting since you were six. Is that right? Yes. So how did you get into it, and what do you love about it? I got into it when my mum, Christina, she was just doing this thing for Nancy. She was doing the music for one of the things for one of the shows, and then. It was a Christmas show, I'm pretty sure. And then that Nancy was like, why don't you join in? And I was in the finale bit when I, and then somebody picked me up to go into the table. <laughs> oh. and did you love it? Yeah, I loved it. And just went, yes, this is definitely this is me. me. I like being yes. the centre of attention. Okay, Quinn, what's been your favourite role so far? Take us through some of them. Um, there's been lots of roles that I've been in, but my favourite so far has been from Cinderella, the last production, when I was Buttons. Oh, good. Oh, excellent. Mm. Uh, what about you, Sebastian? You've just come off the t Tokyo tour of Phantom of the Opera, is that yes. right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was yeah. that like? It was uh, amazing. I, I couldn't believe that, you know, I got such an opportunity. But, um, yeah, Tokyo was fantastic. It's such a beautiful city, and the show was amazing. It's 1,900 seats in the Orb Theatre in the wow. middle of uh, Shibuya. Wow. Um, yeah, it was ph phenomenal and working with Jono and Jones and some really amazing, amazing talented actors and singers. It was just a dream. So, especially coming from New Zealand and mm. Auckland to go to something so big. It's like, oh, yeah. And such an epic show, too. Yeah. Isn't it? You know, yeah. brilliant work. And Isabella, yeah. hey. first time you've been on the cafe. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, tell us about your background. What have you been doing? So, I was actually joined the stage company probably when it started with mm. Nancy and these guys. So, I've known Sebastian for years and years. We're practically family. <laughs> um, yeah, from the beginning, Nancy wanted a couple of dancers. I've got a dance background. And so, I came in just dancing for her and now I've got bigger roles and you know it's been heaps of fun we just did Pinocchio it was Pinocchio which was really exciting to play and now I help Nancy with quite a lot of the choreography and costuming and yeah all of that sort of stuff Brilliant. makeup and costumes so I was full on hands on deck yeah <laughs> well this sounds pretty intriguing Sebastian tell us a little bit about the show what what makes it unique um, well I definitely think for one the costumes are just insane mm. uh, really big bright colors and um, it uh, the characters are not traditionally as you would imagine them from the show. I mean, there's definitely moments where you go, oh, yeah, I can recognise that. And, but, uh, yeah, it's just a whole different way of seeing it and hearing it and watching it. It's, yeah, it's a beautiful show. And, and Quinn, what about you? What's your role in this, this production? My role in this is Quinn. So, but... <laughs> <laughs> Easy to play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I've been the bar and clopper. Okay. okay. Cool. Mm. The whole Instagram thing, um, how do you, so, so who's, where did that idea come from to make it sort of set in the Insta world? Well, I think it's just the idea behind our show is that more, um, it's more, uh, you know, Baroque sort of old style uh, boutique-y, so the way it's written is produced is all from us, so it's not necessarily got a lot of digital sort of parts of the mm. actual show, but it's mm. more trying to get kids outside and into the theater and you know interacting with the characters we come out and meet the kids mm. and you know being really immersed in the show Tabak's a great theater it's quite small but it's you know mm. very close up and friendly and it's everyone's right there together and i think mm. showing a story of you know that connection is sort of important especially today and Quinn, why should people come and see the show? Because clearly we're going to learn a lot about the Instagram era, but what do you think it is? Why, why should your friends come and see the show? They should see the show to get inspired about what can happen in the world, to see what could happen, not can happen, mm -hmm. to see what the world is really like. Right, so we're going to learn a lot, aren't we? Mm. Yeah. Oh, so what, so awesome. Sebastian, what are some of the other characters? Uh, so, um, uh, Mordecai and Rigby, uh, that's the two, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, two very comedic characters, uh, you know, very bouncy, just to bring a bit of likeness to the show. We've obviously got the Beast, and then we've got Beth, um, which are the two lovebirds in the end. Um, we've got Sterling, who's, you know, the big macho guy that tries to win Beth's heart, but... <laughs> 
No, no one likes them. <laughs> <They're> not sharp. <laughs> I think having it at Tapac, you know, as well, because it is a theatre company where they do classes for kids' right. theatre as well, mm. so that yeah. they get, if they love it, they can come out, you know, and learn more about maybe taking classes. And they can actually and, do it. So what sort of age yeah. group are we talking? Who's going to like it? Who's going to get the show? Um, <laughs> three to twelve kids. Yeah, yeah. kids will get um, it. Yeah. But I think even adults have a good giggle. We do put a lot of jokes in there, you know, so oh, that everyone, everyone can enjoy good, it. Over the children's head, but the adults yeah, 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 Oh, yeah. they're the best company. <laughs> yeah. The children will love them as well. Hey, well, it sounds great. Yeah, well, yeah. It's definitely yeah. intrigued us. Thank you guys for stopping by today. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast is at the Auckland Performing Arts Centre, also known as TAPAC, in Auckland's Western Springs throughout the school holidays and up until October the 19th. You can check out the TAPAC website for ticket details.